Today, you're going to hear the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. This story is about a curious little girl who goes for a walk in the woods and is surprised by what she finds. In the story, the little girl and the three bears eat porridge for breakfast. Porridge is like oatmeal. It is a hot cereal that you can eat for breakfast. Have you ever eaten porridge? And also in the story, the bears live in a little cottage in the woods. And another word for a cottage is a small house. So let's read the story and find out what happens. And I want you to make predictions uh, as to what's going on in the story. Okay? Alrighty. Once upon a time, there were three bears who lived in a house in the forest. There was a great big papa bear, a middle-sized mama bear, and a tiny little baby bear. One morning, papa bear cooked some delicious porridge for the bear's breakfast. Then it was ready, Papa Bear poured his porridge into a great big bowl. Next, he poured Mama Bear's porridge into a middle-sized bowl. Finally, Papa Bear poured Baby Bear's porridge into a tiny little bowl. He placed each bowl on the kitchen table. Then while they waited for the hot porridge to cool, the three bears went for a walk in the woods. What might happen while the bears are gone? That very same morning, a golden-haired girl named Goldilocks had also gone for a walk in the woods. However, Goldilocks lost her way and came upon the bear's cottage or little house. Goldilocks saw an open window. She peeked inside the cottage. No one was there, but she spotted or saw the three bowls of porridge on the table. Goldilocks went inside. She was hungry and decided to eat the porridge. First, she used a great big spoon to taste the porridge in the great big bowl. Too hot, said Goldilocks. Next, Goldilocks used the middle-sized spoon to taste the porridge in the middle-sized bowl. Too cold, said Goldilocks. Finally, she used a tiny little spoon. She tastes the porridge in the tiny little bowl. Whose porridge was in the tiny little bowl? Just right, said Goldilocks, as she gobbled it up. Now Goldilocks looked around the room. She saw a great big chair, a middle-sized chair, and a little tiny chair. I am tired, said Goldilocks. So she sat down in the great big chair. It was too hard. Next, Goldilocks sat down in the middle-sized chair, but it was too soft. Finally, she sat down in the little tiny chair. And just as she was thinking that the little tiny chair was just right, crash, the chair broke into pieces. Goldilocks fell to the floor. Goldilocks stood right up and was startled or surprised to see that the little chair had broken into pieces. She was still tired, so she looked for another place to rest. She went upstairs and found three bears, three beds. There was a great big bed, a middle-sized bed, and a little tiny bed. What do you think Goldilocks is going to do? First, Goldilocks tried to lie down on the big bed, but it was too smooth. Next, she tried the middle-sized bed, but it was too lumpy. Finally, she stretched out on the tiny bed. It was just right. Goldilocks fell asleep. As Goldilocks slept, the three bears returned from their walk. They sat down to eat and knew right away that something was wrong. What was wrong with their porridge? Papa Bear looked at his great big bow. He cried out in a loud voice, Someone has been eating my porridge! Mama Bear looked at her middle-sized bow. She said in her middle-sized voice, Someone has been eating my porridge. Then Baby Bear looked at his little tiny bow. He squealed in his little tiny voice. Someone has been eating my porridge. 
and has eaten it up. Then the three bears looked around. Papa Bear looked at his great big chair and he cried out in his great big voice, someone has been sitting in my chair. Mama Bear looked at her middle-sized chair. She said in her middle-sized voice, someone has been sitting in my chair. Then Baby Bear looked at the broken pieces of his little tiny chair. He squealed in his tiny little voice, someone has been sitting in my chair and has broken it all to pieces. The three bears ran upstairs to the bedroom. Papa Bear looked at his great big bed. He said in, in his great big voice, Someone has been sleeping in my bed. Mama Bear looked at her middle-sized bed. She said in her middle-sized voice, Someone has been sleeping in my bed. Then Baby Bear looked at his little tiny bed. He squealed in his little tiny voice, Someone has been sleeping in my bed. And... And here she is. Who did they find? At that very moment, Goldilocks woke up. She saw the three bears standing over her. She was shocked and afraid. She couldn't believe what she saw. So she scampered out of the tiny bed and ran down the stairs out of the cottage. The three bears never saw Goldilocks again.